Okay, so now we will add the attack animation so that the enemy can attack on the player. So get back to the Visual Studio and right down below this handle facing direction function we will create a function by the name of check if attack finished and then in here we will type the function code but the next function which we will be needing is the attack function so type attack and that's it right here in the else block we will check if the attack is finished and then we will call the attack function so before working on the these two functions we need to create few variables right down below this enemy animation we will type serialize field then we will create a variable which will be of type float and we will name this as a take wait time and by default this will be equals to two seconds so every two seconds the enemy will attack on the player and then the next variable will be again type float and we will name this as attack timer then after this we will type again serialize speed and we will create another variable by the name of let us say attack finished wait time and this will be equals to 0.5f then after this the next one will be attack finished timer so now in the attack function right here we will say if the time dot time time dot time is greater than the attack timer then we are going to attack so right here we will type attack finished timer and this will be equals to time dot I don't know why it select the suggestion by its own okay so time dot time will be plus with the attack finished with time and then the attack timer will be equals to time dot time plus the attack with time and then after this we will simply play the attack animation so for that type enemy animation dot play animation or actually let me just copy this all from here whoops okay so copy it and paste it right here and change the animation name to attack underscore animation underscore name then after this in the check if attack finished right here we will say if the time dot time is greater than the attack finish timer then what we will do we will say enemy animation or let's just simply copy this from here and paste it right here and we will play the idle animation if the time is greater than the attack finish time so type idle underscore animation underscore name and now if we save this get back to unity and let me just clear this now if we play it you will see that the enemy will come to our player then it will play the idle animation and then simply the enemy will attack on the player
as you can see right here so every two seconds the enemy is attacking on our player and if we move as you can see we try to follow the player and when we stop as you can see he simply attack on the player so now if we see the enemy is attacking on us and also we can attack on the enemy as well but now we need to add something so when the enemy hit the player or when we fire on the enemy then there should be a damage area so when we hit the damage area then the health of the player or the enemy will be decreased but we will do that in the next video